The PBA's 43rd season was a looming one. Seriously, it started December of 2017 and it ended December of 2018. That's 12 months of almost non-stop basketball. But with the current PBA season finally drawing to a close, it's time we look back at how each team fared in 2018. Today, we take on the Moralco Bolts. Power up. Moralco's last couple of seasons in the PBA always started with a failed all Filipino campaign. When the Bolts found a power import, they started to hit their stride in the Commissioner's Cup. But once the team landed Alan Durham for the Governor's Cup, they really, really hit their stride. That's pretty much the story of Moralco in PBA Season 41 and Season 42. It was pretty much the same in PBA Season 43. The Bolts once again struggled in the All-Filipino, it's just not the team's strong point for a while now. Moralco turned it around in the Commissioner's Cup, but the ghost of Ginebra continued to haunt the team, this time losing to the eventual champion Jin Kings in the quarterfinals. Moralco made a valiant run in the Governor's Cup once again but the Bolt's second revenge tour in the season-ending conference ultimately stopped at the semifinals. The number 7 Bolts won six straight knockout games to advance before ultimately shutting down against the Aces. In between, the team found time to fly to Thailand and represent the Philippines in the FIBA Asia Champions Cup. Moralco only won one game there, but somehow found a way to finish fourth in a field of eight. Moralco has followed pretty much the same script for three seasons now, and the team still has no championships to show for. Hopefully, the team can power up for real in 2019 and get a chip. Moralco bolts in the 2017 2018 PBA season. Philippine Cup 47 11th place. Commissioner's Cup 74 4th place. Governor's Cup 56 7th place. Overall, 16 wins and 17 losses. Two playoff appearances, one semifinals. Miralco used its top five pick to select scoring guard Travis Jackson. With a rumored pending trade involving Baser Amer, Jackson looks primed to take over a big role in Moralco as a rookie. If the deal ends up being nixed, the Bolts added a spark to its emerging backcourt rotation. The Bolts also landed Bon Quinto in the second round, and there's a very big chance that teams end up regretting their decision to pass up the former Letran Knight.